Well, it certainly looks like it's happening. We got some news yesterday, guys. It says MLB Commissioner Rob Manfred talks blackouts. The Athletics move to Las Vegas. Small market Padres and more. So the huge news there talking about the Oakland Athletics moving to Vegas. This is something that I predicted last week. Vegas will have, by 2027, an NFL team, an NBA team, and an MLB team. And the MLB team is probably coming next. This coming, you know, after multiple, multiple, probably nine or ten now, failed new stadium renderings done by the A's within the past decade. They just can't get anywhere. Their attendance keeps getting worse and worse. There's theories out there that the owner is you know, purposefully trading all their good players in an effort to really drive fan interest down so the team can move. And it is at an all-time low right now. They just traded their best offensive player or one of their best offensive players this offseason, Sean Murphy, for a very underwhelming package, according to many different MLB experts. Now, Manfred says that the focus has been on the possibility of a move to Las Vegas rather than solving ongoing infrastructure problems with Oakland. Manfred said he supports the A's chairman, John Fisher, with whatever decision the ball club makes, but it certainly seems like it is going in the direction that the A's will be moving and the Tampa Bay Rays, who are in a very similar position. They don't spend money. They're actually successful. Nobody goes to their games. They have a horrible stadium. And it's looking like both of these two franchises, or at least the A's, will be relocating after plenty of failed stadium attempts. And then we also got this news, the Athletics targeting a third Las Vegas ballpark site. The Oakland Athletics have added a third site where they could build a roughly $1 billion ballpark in Las Vegas. And let me just tell everyone, this will be a retractable roof or a dome, 100,000%. Probably just an outright dome with one of those translucent roofs, which is kind of like the new meta everyone in the NFL is doing. You look at SoFi, you look at Allegiant, things like that. But it gets very, very hot in Vegas in the summer. So for sure, it's going to be climate controlled. The A's are now seriously considering the land where the Rio sits on Flamingo Road, just west of the Strip and Interstate 15. A person with knowledge of the dealings told the Las Vegas Review Journal. So there is another site that is possibly in play for Vegas. They they were talking about two different sites. Then a recent report came out that they, they were down to one site. Now it looks like it's back up. So there is some momentum, it looks like, with the commissioner coming out saying he's focused on the A's moving, but also saying he respects whatever the chairman decides to do when it comes to this project. Now, speculation on the stadium, the only rendering that I've seen you know, are very like two or three year old renderings of a retractable roof of a potential dome type structure that, you know, these seem rather, not not that this can't be the stadium, but I, you know, this was like two years ago or something. So we really haven't seen anything recently, like real recent on potential renderings and what it will look like. Again, the only speculation I can give is that for sure, I mean, you look at the roof to it, it's see-through with the glass. That's the exact model they're going for now. And I think it might, just to save costs, you could probably just make it a dome. I mean, you take a look at something like Marlins Park. They made Marlins Park a retractable roof. It costs, you know, rather than just doing a fixed dome, it costs significantly more to do the retractable roof, the technology behind it. Miller Park, actually, or I think it's called American Family Field now, is dealing with an issue with their retractable roof. They're trying to get like a $300 million, uh, you know, package that will upgrade their roof and, and, and make the stadium nicer. But it just like, like the whole thing with Marlins Park from like 2013, when it opened to 2020, they had the roof open maybe 3% of the time. 
and it's due to Florida being humid. Like, why sit in 90 degree weather when you can have the roof closed and it completely climate controlled and it's 72 degrees? And then we know that Miami and Florida gets a lot of rogue thunderstorms. So when there's like a 5% chance of rain, they're going to close it. It's the exact same thing with Vegas, except, it, you know, for heat. June and July and August, zero days, this thing would be open. It would be too hot. There is no humidity in Vegas. It's just very dry heat. And when we're talking about heat, we're talking about 85, 90, 100 degrees. If they do go with a retractable roof, it would clearly be closed at that point. And then when it comes to the A's and their, you know, progress, it's, I mean, we're up to about six different unique stadiums that have been proposed. And for whatever reason, none of them can get done. It's got to be a funding issue at this point. The logistics around convincing someone to dump a billion dollars in a state-of-the-art new stadium when the A's had averaged like 5,000 fans last year, it, it just seems like there's no way this happens. They've got their recent proposal at Howard Terminal, that kind of a weird ballpark, you know, it definitely feels Cali with all the green and like, I don't know, kind of a weird vibe. It's like built into the side of a hill almost, but it looks like it's almost a minor league park. It seats about 30,000. I will say with this new Vegas one, I'll probably say the capacity is going to be 40K or below, probably 38 to 40,000. They're not going to go crazy with it. And it's just kind of the new meta with baseball stadiums. They value standing room areas. They value social spaces over just like walls of seats. So it, when it does get designed, if they do end up moving to Vegas, I, I would expect a more modern look and maybe a capacity around 38,000, 38, something like that. I'm sure they'll immediately get an all-star game in the coming years. Now, realistically, when is the earliest that this can happen. I would say probably 2025, you know, if in terms of, well, actually, you know what? I take that back. To, to, to make a, a baseball stadium, probably 2026, because if you look at the NFL teams, they're just breaking ground on their new stadiums, the Bills and the Titans, and they're not opening until 2026. The A's haven't even announced they're moving yet, but they could announce it this year. You know, I'm sure they've already got some type of rendering on where the stadium's going to go drawn up, and I could think maybe a move in 2026 could happen. I mean, you would think the MLB would want to fast track this. The A's playing in that horrible coliseum in front of 4,000 people a night, it's just horrible for the sport. Put them in Vegas, drum it up. I mean, look at the Golden Knights, look at the Raiders, it just it makes it a more spectacular. And you would think because it's a tourist attraction, the attendance would at least be a minimum of like 13 to 15K. I know it's completely different from football, where with, with football, there's only eight or nine home games. In the MLB, you get 81 home games, you know, so it's a little bit different. It's harder to draw fans every night because there's so many games to choose from. But I would figure it would be, you know, at least you'd get, you know, an average first year, you'd probably get 30K an average in, in attendance, which is just three or four times what the A's are drawing right now in Oakland. And again, they're making these trades. They're, they keep stripping their team down. And it, it would be one thing if they were getting good prospects back. I mean, these are very questionable trades the A's are making. You know, they're getting middling prospects back for a, a young catcher, one of the top offensive catchers in the game. It just... It, it, you know, it, nothing adds up with the A's situation right now. They're not going to be competitive this year again. They're not coming close to spending any money. The Rays are a little bit different because even with their issues, they're at least signing like Yandy Diaz to an extension there. They've got young talent. They do a really good job. And, you know, they've, they've done things in the past like getting Nelson Cruz and stuff like that to where they at least try and be competitive. The A's are like self-sabotaging their team in an effort to move as quickly as possible, it feels like. So this is definitely a situation that is coming to a head. They can't keep playing at the Coliseum in front of 5,000 people. It just, the MLB is not going to allow it. So there's going to have to be a resolution. And the recent stuff we got yesterday, it does feel likely like a move to Vegas is on the table. That being option 1A and then option B being them somehow getting a miracle and staying within the Oakland area. But 
again, it just it does not seem realistic like you would dump money into a brand new stadium when you're averaging 5,000 people. I'm not saying Oakland fans are bad. I know the Coliseum is terrible, but this whole thing, the idea that they're somehow going to find the money when they've been trying to build a new stadium and, and get away from that multi-purpose Coliseum, I mean, the Coliseum, is it should have probably been knocked down the second the Raiders moved, you know, like that thing's been up for like six years too long at this point or whatever it is, like three years too long, but either way, it's still kicking, you know, they're going to play this year, I'm sure they're going to play next year there and the year after that because they don't even have, the, the they haven't even finalized the spot where the stadium could go, they haven't even finalized the move yet to Vegas, but, but you want to talk about the crowd Imagine they announce within the coming months or like the next year they're moving to to Vegas. Those last few seasons at Oakland, I mean, they might struggle to draw a thousand people to some of those games. So we'll see what happens. But that's definitely the the big news on the docket when it comes to MLB stadiums. The Vegas uh, potential move from the Oakland Athletics seems. More likely than not at this point. But guys, that's going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description. I'm, of course, the Depressed Ginger. Thank you for watching.